<laughs> I didn't have the microphone in front of me. That is that is amateur bullshit, and I apologize. It'll never happen again. Uh, this is Ethan Moses with HorribleNight.com, and I'm going to be doing a live reflex review for the game Survivor Squad. It is a zombie game, a survival game, uh, but mostly a game about friendship and squads. So um, I've actually gotten through the initial tutorial of it, and um, just kind of get into the meat of it right now and kind of just give my thoughts as we go. Um, so I'm going to continue. Uh, now, the, the first thing, and this is absolutely nitpicky, mm, it's delicious, um, is, you know, uh, it's not entirely evident what to click on um, when you first start playing. They give you a pretty good tutorial, but there's just, you know, I think gamers nowadays kind of need arrows every once in a while to things. Um, so, for example, if I want to go to this place, uh, and I want to move. Um, you know, I, I feel like I already have my team set up, but I have to hit load out, and then I can move out. So it's a little bit uh, it, that seems persnickety as hell, but it, it's just kind of a kind of a thing for me. So um, my squad's looking a little bit. They're in some trouble here, but uh, so right right off the bat, I mean, the, the cool aspect of this is is it, it plays a lot like um, Dawn of War Two in terms of how the squads play out. Uh, has a real-time strategy type control scheme to it, though again, you're dealing with smaller squads. And, um, it, you know, it's, it's a cool idea. Um, aesthetically, it's pretty simple, but that's okay, that's not a big deal. Um, but I'll talk more about that as we get into it. So again, right now, my, my dudes, my, my, my squad is in trouble. Um, we need to view the survivors. They're, they're, yeah, they're really, they're really struggling right now. I got injured pretty bad the last time, so I'm gonna have to be really careful. I can level up a lot of these, these guys. So, um, backup, ground control. So I'll give that guy that. Um, Tyler, you know, you can be the samurai. Tom, backup. There we go. I don't know if that makes a difference, but anyway. Okay, so you've got uh, this map and you've got these different hubs and blue means clear, you're good to go, you can hang out there. Gray, um, you still have to, uh, it's not exactly safe, you can't sleep there, but you know, it's not bad either. Um, and then red means there's zombies. So when you go to the gray though, the, the only thing about this is you can build and this, uh, this essentially solidifies that in terms of blue. Um, so, I would do that, but there's a bunch of gear at that place, so I kind of want it. Um, so that's it, 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 you know essentially what I want to do. Controlled cities. See, none of them really. None of them really um, are giving me anything right now. I'm gonna skip a day, yes, because I wonder if that heals my guys. We'll move. No, it doesn't. Load out. Okay, let's go. Let's get into the thick of it. So, I, the last time I was here, I didn't have enough space to carry everything. So, um, I definitely want to come back with that and get everything. Mm -hmm. So you can zoom in. You see my guys again. Now, aesthetically, uh, this I don't think this is a problem for me personally. Um, but I do think, uh, as you're looking at the portraits of your characters here to the side, and then even, you know, when you get over the top, um, it can be a little bit, I don't know, I think it could be kind of detrimental to the atmosphere, um, because these guys look pretty, uh, they're, they're pretty plain, they're pretty plain looking, um, and so I really think, you know, just off the top of my head, constructive criticism wise, like get somebody in here, get some real good portraits look going, you know, uh, in the least. Um, the game itself is also really dark, uh, as you can tell. Um, and again, that's part of the aesthetic, obviously. But um, it gets just again, it can be a little t tough to distinguish things. I um, mean, you have a line of sight, so you essentially have this perpetual fog of war that you're kind of cutting through. I'm going with flashlights and that kind of stuff. Um, but sometimes it kind of looks a little bit janky. So, 
Um, like in buildings, it looks great. Like it's a, it's a really cool little little addition. I don't think I can get any of the supplies I left. I thought I left supplies. I'm sure, I left supplies. But see, as we're walking out here, you can see in the background, it's just it's kind of forming itself as we go around. So. Again, yeah, not a big deal, but atmosphere-wise, it just it can kind of be a little bit, kind of cut into it a little bit. And you can see here, this fog is just kind of off a little bit. Um, so far playing it, the first couple levels, and I don't know if this is going to change. They've uh, they've been just a little bit of the same, and. Uh, just looking into the future again the reflex reviews we don't we're not focusing on the game in its entirety we're just talking about first impressions um, redundancy can be a huge issue with games like this and I think anyone that had issues with Dawn of War 2 um, it was because the you know the mission redundancy uh, now I loved it but again I'm, I'm a sucker for that and you've got the Warhammer 40k universe that you're playing within this is a new IP um, and it's also one that's using a um, kind of overdone enemy in terms of the zombies so uh it's just you know it, it's kind of a gamble and that's that's going to be the criticism that people give to this game that that's what it's going to be it's going to be redundancy it's going to be we've seen zombies before um i love zombies i'll play them all the time but you've got to be realistic when you're talking about games like this and trying to get you know trying to get that new demographic of people to play your games so so there was nothing there so then what i'm going to do and then you go back and i can build here or I can't because I don't have any scrap. Okay, that's fine. That happens. So let's go to this place, load out. And you can see how the action plays out. And there's a dude. Here's a guy. Yes. Hey. Going. Hey, boy, am I glad to see some humans for a change. Maybe you can help. Hidden lab that was working on a cure for this infection. He knows where it is. Okay, cool. So I don't know if you can see that type, but or at least I know where to find its location. Yeah. So, um, cool. Away. Moving. Got it. Moving. So we're getting quests here, which is cool. First three missions were pretty standard, so this is this is an interesting direction you're moving. Again, that's why these are reflex reviews. You're just kind of trying to uh, get a basic idea of it. Zoom into the action. Okay. On the way. So we got a mission. This guy's with us. I think we're gonna have to. Okay, we got some zombies. Um, another criticism of the game is every time you get into combat. The music ramps up, it's like this heavy metal stuff, and it's just bad. It's not it's not good because it happens like so often. Um like that. Like that's it's just really annoying. Like it's it's really throws off again, throws off the atmosphere of the game. And, and this is where ultimately this game is going to I think struggle. Is it, is it supposed to be a spooky, atmospheric zombie game, or is it supposed to be kind of an action-packed, you know, uh, title? I, I mean, I... Personally, I would hope they would stick with the spooky atmosphere, because the action-packed titles, you're not going to be able to compete unless you have really solid action, because this is more tactical. Um, that's just, that's always going to be a problem, so... And I've also found that, like, in these situations, um, when you're fighting, you just need to kind of sit still. Because when your characters move, they don't... Oh, it kind of takes them a while to lock onto the zombies. So, right now, I'm not... I'm not going to spend too much time... Trying to move around too much, but we'll just follow this dude, which he stupidly went in without us. So, escort mission... Yeah, he's not very, it's not very, and this is what, this happens too, is everyone kind of gets stuck on one another. So I'm going to let him search and 
go from there. So essentially, yeah, you just kind of sit in front of a doorway and wait for the zombies to come to you. And again, their field of vision really plays into it. Uh, but again, it, it does get a little bit dull. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be playing with cover mechanics and that kind of stuff because there's zombies and zombies don't, you know, zombies don't shoot things at you. Zombies don't try to throw stuff at you, so... So we'll just sit here and they'll keep coming. Yes. And they'll just keep coming in. Keep coming in. They're just zombies are trailing in here. They want to. They want to eat us. I understand that. That's you know. That's a zombie's motivation. What are you gonna do? But um, I don't know. I find myself in these situations a lot with this game. I've also not gotten to a situation where you could barricade doors yet. I'm, I'm assuming that's gonna be something that you can do, which would really help. You gotta appreciate all this blood, though. Yeah. Yes. We can't get this guy up here, Ed. Ed's hurting. Ed needs some help. Let's go backpacks. Yes. So Ed should be good. You cover this dude for right now. Go get the gas. Now, Tom, why are you not shooting your gun, you idiot? Oh, come on. See, and then this... See, when you move, the guys need some time to kind of figure them, figure their way out. Got it. On it. See, and that's not what I wanted this guy to do. On the way. I wanted everybody to move. Oh, Yusuf is in big trouble. Yusuf! Be safe, my friend. Be safe, my friend. So again, getting into these kind of gameplay loops can be exciting if I was in control of these characters. But see, I'm not in control of the characters. I just, I can set them up strategically. But even then, that's not gonna, that's not gonna make too much of a difference. And again, I have this issue with it as I'm moving. There we go. And see, they, they jump up, and and I don't know if my guy is supposed to be... Oh, see, now everyone's caught. Yeah. On the way. On it. Reloading. Moving. And usually you can clear these zombies out. Reloading. Reloading. You need a bandage, Tyler. Reloading. Uh, the other thing is, is when... When somebody's inventory is filled up... So Tom and Ed, they have space, but... Tyler's always going to be the first one to go and try to grab stuff. Which is fine, but now that he's filled, that can be troublesome. See, now we're in trouble. It, it, it just, it doesn't seem like there's very much rhyme or, you know, very, there's not any rhyme or reason to where the zombies are coming from. Like, now they're just coming in, like, infinitely, and Tom's about to die. And I'm not sure if this guy needs to... I'm not sure what he needs to do. Again, it's it, it's a it's it's fine because zombies aren't supposed to have strategy necessarily. But this is just where this I kind of get hung up with games like this. Is it, it's just kind of 
kind of in kind of a weird gameplay loop. And then again, if we try to leave, we're, we're crowded already. I don't know where my my escort guy is supposed to go. Reloading. And it says I have nine zombies left, but I don't. That doesn't always reign true. So. Reloading. I mean, look at. I mean, it's cool. I, I mean, the, the concept is cool. Again, I don't want to knock it too much because it is. Um, it's an interesting uh, idea, and I, I like the fact that this just body's just covered with blood. But here. I'm in a bad spot because Tom is really hurt, and if I move too much, these guys come right up behind. So maybe what I need to do is these guys. The game almost has too much control, you know. Tom's dead. Come on, dude. And, I, and again, this guy doesn't seem to exactly know what he's doing. Reloading. Now, okay, so I need to lead it. Actually, physically lead him. He was, he was doing his own thing for a while. Personal defense system. Ed, can you pick that up? Can you pick that up, Ed? Hmm. Hey, cat. Why don't you get out? My cat's excited. That's an exciting aspect. Okay. So our guy is supposed to be... Yeah. See, that's, that's frustrating because then these guys get stuck in... Doorways and that kind of stuff. And again, I don't. Uh, you, if you don't know how many zombies are coming at you, it says nine, but this is more than nine. You can't plan accordingly. Uh, you can't barricade doors, so now they can come all around and they just come straight at you. Reloading. Moving. Going. On it. it just seems a bit. It seems a bit silly. Yeah, just so many on and now we're all dead. You know, so I, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate the I appreciate the uh, the no, now I don't have anybody. Is everyone dead? What's up, Verdian? Everyone's alive now. Oh man. So I, I think overall, that, that those kind of missions can be a problem for a game. You're gonna you're gonna kind of. I mean, what exactly was I supposed to be doing? You know, was that I, I understand that guy was. I understand that guy was supposed to be escorted, but he wasn't really doing any sort of escorting, so. Let's move out. Gotcha. So we don't need to stop. We could have we could have skipped that uh, if this is if this zone is cleansed, and there's really no reason for me to be here. Uh, we'll see if they've I'm going. We're able to restore some things. Uh, the other th unfortunate thing, too, is in this level, I had opened up a lot of these boxes and, um, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, all the, you know, with the, with the items, like there was all kinds of items sitting around and I couldn't carry them all. And I expected that, you know, if my inventory was filled, I'd be able to come back, but that's not the case. 
So it's cleansed of everything. So yeah. Uh, we went there the last time. Let's go Adamstead. Uh, pick a secure location. Okay. The, the, the potential is here. You know, don't get me wrong. It's just... It's not really coming together all that well. Hmm? Got it. So we don't have an escort mission this time, so that might be... Might be a good thing. On the way. Now I know there's probably going to be at some point gadgets and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right now I have a camera, and it kind of gives me vision. Ready. Yes. But I wasn't really able to utilize it all that well. So got it. On it. Got it. On it. Let's see, somebody needs help. Reloading. On it. Can we get five people? Let's see if we can get five people. Zone successfully cleansed. So one of these guys can get all this stuff. So we saved you? Cool. Mm -hmm. Not bad. On the way. So this mission turned out not to be as kind of silly as that last one. On the way. We got an extra crew member. Kind of zoom in on the action. Yes. And again, Backpack full. it's all comfort. Yeah. I get it. But the guy that does not have any space in his inventory should go and grab it. Ready. I don't know, that's just me. And you can carry very little in your backpack. I'm going. I'm going. On it. I'm going. Oh, wait. Search that. So maybe I just need to switch the order around. Yes. On the way. On it. On the way. I think we went in here already. On the way. Okay, let's look in this place. I'm full. Ready. Yes. Yas. I'm Tom. Full. I'm, I'm Tom. Ready. Backpack full. Backpack full. I'm full. Ready. Yusuf. How are all your backpacks full already? Someone grab food. Did I not unload all that stuff? Yes. On it. You gotta be kidding me. Backpack full. Backpack full. Yes, I'm going. What is this? I'm full. I don't really have room I'm for a. Full. They all have guns, so we're okay. Well, we're just gonna get out of here then. On the way. On it. On it. On it. Do, 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 do. Got it. This guy's here. On it. Good. Let's leave. Yeah. Yeah, we want to leave. We're done. Eddie. Cool. Does Eddie have face paint on? Green line. Danger level two. Go. 
So I have all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's see if we can build some things. So you got your crafting menu. Vendetta, cool, greedy when you need a bit more firepower. Oh, well, I'm not sure. I, I, I haven't really had... It's not really been much of a difference with the missions, so... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet. Need more copper for that. So now that's secure. Where are my survivors at? Oh, we need to travel. Let's heal some people. Yusuf needs it. Ed needs it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, don't be stupid this time, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Moving. I'm going. Yeah, we heard about the hidden labs, but come on. Let's go, buddy. I think environmentally things will get a little bit bland after a while, too. Because with zombies, you take the strategy out. Yes, like that. That's so I can. I placed a video camera. It's gonna scan that this area. So, may so maybe I need to split my guys up a little bit better. That might be that might be helpful. Reloading. Well, that guy actually shot one of them out the window this time. That's what I need to do. If I get somebody out the window, look out the window. Reloading. Well, I don't. I, I I feel like maybe there's some strategy maybe involved, but okay, th this is going a little bit better. I've got people at the window now. So that might be a thing. I would like to be able to barricade locations. Let me see if I can. You can't have them look in a specific direction. Reloading. No, maybe not. Reloading. Well, yeah, that's what it's kind of feeling like at this point. And, and again, so you start to lose that. Here, here's So is it a survival game? If so, you have unlimited am ammunition, so... Um, now unless the sound plays into effect and I'm just causing all these zombies to come get me, but... I don't know. Like, if there's an infinite number of zombies that can attack me... What's the point? Yes. Reload. I'm going. Ready. Got it. I found the second location this time. That's good. Got it. 
Okay, so yeah, so I guess maybe it is just like a tower defense type game. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Let's see if we survive it. Ed's not. Ed, why don't you sh why don't you fight back, bud? So this dude is. I guess he's done looking for stuff. I guess maybe we need to go into this area. Reloading. Next, you guys go. Quick, move, 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 move. So you can't have them look out a window. Reloading. Yeah, like, for this sort of a mission... Reloading. The escort missions suck across the board. I, that, you know, when your you're, you're second gameplay variety is an escort mission, that's not a good sign of things. But, like, to me, this doesn't... And this guy's not really functioning super well. I can't put my guys looking out the window, though. Okay, so that, that, that makes... That's helping out a little bit. Getting these guys kind of situated so that they can take out a few zombies out the window. But still, this dude's not... So I have to go. Reloading. Is he still looking then? So I have to touch on him or activate him. He's moving in a really kind of Reloading. Reloading. weird way. Okay, do your thing. Yeah, that's just really weird. He, he's like on a weird timer. So he's just following my fir my main guy. Okay. Well, that's that's okay, I guess. There's another safe over here. So come over this way. Don't walk outside, though. That seems stupid as hell. Fuck! There's gotta be some sort of timer. There's not really, uh, it's, it's, a. Uh... The game, I mean, the game needs some work. I mean, right now, like... He needs support. Because that's frustrating. Like, this guy not doing what he's supposed to be doing, so now he needs to follow Tyler. And he's gone through rooms, like... a couple different times. Music's... at this point, is pretty... I've, I've heard enough of it. And again, this is in the very beginning of the game. You know, the very beginning of the game... Um, the redundancy shouldn't, shouldn't already, you shouldn't already be feeling that, so. And again, that's, I mean, with a review, you have to, a review is, should you invest in this game? A reflex review is, you know, is there anything about this game that really is attractive? And at this point right now, it's, it, the concept's okay. Um... They could really build off of it, but right now it just feels kind of like a platform just to see zombies explode. I mean, especially with how many zombies we've just killed. I mean, I'm sure, hopefully we're getting a lot of experience for this. Mm, I, don't, I don't believe it is. I don't believe it is in beta. I will double check that, though. Yeah, that's, uh... 
Uh... Yep. Yeah. Nope, it's not. It is not. But again, that doesn't mean they can't build upon it, but... Again, this is like an endless gameplay loop at this point, and this guy's not doing what I think he's supposed to be doing, and if we're supposed to walk outside, see, as soon as we leave position, my guys just go stupid. They just get dumb. Reloading. So do we want to go down here? Got it. I already lost a guy, so that sucks. Uh, yeah. And if I have everyone selected, that's it. Uh, here's my issue. If I have everyone selected, they should be able to pick something up. So, uh, the person who does not have any that has room left should be able to pick it up. And, and this game could definitely pick up after this, but if this is one of the missions that you need to complete, Reloading. Reloading. I can see how that might be a little bit frustrating. This guy's, he's decided to, uh, not, <laughs> he's, he's done, he's like, I give up, I saw that other guy die. And see, as soon, as soon as you move, if you get into a bad situation, you're done. Do we go this way? Are you done? Yeah, see, we're fucked. They're just on YouTube, They're, I mean, they don't even move like zombies. Um... So, yeah, I mean, in, in, in uh, the, well, the 0 to 12 in the top right is supposed to show you how many zombies are on a level, um, but for, it doesn't apply to this. I mean, it doesn't apply to these this endless loop of zombies, so, um, so everyone died, so I have one guy left. So there's other things going around here. Um... So, so right now, uh, just to, just off the top of my head, just after playing this, you know, today and also playing it um, for a while uh, yesterday and the day before that, um, the concepts there, there, there's there's a really good possibility of it. I like the idea of a tactical based uh, game, uh, especially a zombie game because I like zombies. However, it's just you know the implementation of some of the mechanics isn't isn't quite rounded out. Um, uh, I've been to one, two, three, four, five, six different levels, and they all, all look exactly the same. Um, and again, it's not all about graphics, but you have to have something exciting. You know, if I'm exploring, I'm trying to dig through things. I want to actually look at something new. Um, uh, uh, and it was only the escort mission where this happened, but you know if there's a limited uh, you know unlimited amount of zombies you have a strat you're like any sort of strategy is thrown out the door like you're done at that point because you can't really set up a location and then you know like in that example with the escort mission you know what were you going to do at that point so um this is this is a game that you know keep an eye on but i really think the developers have to look at it and and flesh it out a lot more because right now it feels beta ish you know and i there's no indication that it still is so um again we'll we'll check back with this game in a little while but at this point i i see i i see no reason to invest much time into it because again it's just not pulled together as well as it could be um, a lot of potential but it's not there yet so uh you know wait on that and we'll check back here and maybe a couple months or something along those lines but uh at this point, I would I would go ahead and avoid Survivor Squad. I think there's perfectly uh, there's a there's a, there's a lot of games out right now, and this is this game, um, unless you know the developer personally, uh, this is not the game you want to invest too much time in. So, uh, thank you very much, and uh, we will scream at you all later on.